Walker's K traffic, you got an Islander 10 miles southwest inbound runway 9, Walker's K. Walker's K traffic, got an Islander short final runway 9, Walker's K. Airplane on the left side of the runway here. This is the gas station and the fire station. There's my passenger, Mr. Frank. This is the waiting room. And this is Customs and Immigration. Hopefully Walker's K gets rebuilt soon and becomes as uh, prestige as it was 10 years ago. The hurricane just Totally messed it up. All right, we're at Walker's K today on a charter. Did a little walk here, exploring the island and having a look at a crashed airplane here that went off north side of the runway. The story is there's a brake failure on one side which resulted in an exit off the runway on the north side down the embankment and into the shoreline. Got a Navajo just landed here at Walker's K. Now that was a good landing, and that was a bad landing. Everybody survived. Looks like the plane is totaled. Bent props. Let's have a look inside. Six seats. A little bit of seaweed. All the expensive GPS's have been removed, and avionics, just the basic instrumentation left. It's been sitting here for about a month now, so I don't think anybody's going to be salvaging this thing right away. Got 
Be real careful with your airspeed when you come into these short runways in the Bahamas. Or anywhere for that matter. Emergency exit, sitting on the ground. Another bent prop, nose cone hanging off. Obviously the gear is all folded up underneath. Once the gear hits those rocks, it's not going to survive. At least we'll keep the rain out. There's the skid marks through the through the weeds. One, two. And by the looks of the long skid mark on the runway, the right brake was grabbing. Left brake was not. And that's obviously why the plane skidded to the right with the right brake grabbing. Make sure you always pick the correct runway into the wind and make sure your airspeed is just right. Not too little, not too much. Thanks for watching the video from Walker's K, CK Flyer.